Hey, Build Show Network, Steve Basic Architect. I'm out here in the garage of our Riverside project. And you're probably wondering, wow, what has Steve got for us today? Well, we're talking single sloped roofs over a big old quad beam. And how did we frame this roof and how did I plan for it? So you can see I'm in a standard two bay garage. It measures, I don't know, I think it's like 26 by 28 feet. Um, like I said, two bay. You can see above me here, in my handy dandy pointer, but we have a quad LVL, because it's a substantial load here that's going back this 26 feet. So it has to be a sizable beam. And understand that that beam is carrying half of the roof load, right? So we have an exterior wall there, but the exterior wall only carries half of the, the left span here. That exterior wall carries half of the right span the center middle of that, both spans, comes into this beam and has to get carried there. So how do we do that? We have our common rafters. You can see our 2 by 12 rafters here. And that 2 by 12 comes up basically like this, like it would treat a wall. So that rafter comes up, and I have it spec so that it extends 12 inches on the other side of the beam here and basically has the seat, the bird's mouth cut there. So it would sit just like it would sit on the upper portion of the wall there. This is just an intermediate support. On the rafters to my right, those are the 2 by 12 rafters. They come down, and you can see we have some overlapping here. And again, that overlapping is called out to be 12 inches on each side. So basically what we're getting is we're getting this 7 inches plus the two feet. So we're right around 30 inches of overlap. So we can get some lateral nailing in there and get those rafters to kind of simulate a solid piece going across there. It doesn't work out exactly where structurally they become one, but that connection certainly makes it a little bit more rigid by having that lapping there. And this rafter system that's coming down, well, it has a bird's mouth that gets cut down on that top of that beam, and then it flies up to the wall up above there. So again, we get that overlapping. So we're able to use the two by 12s by virtue of having this big beam that runs down the middle here, picking up those loads. Let's go back to the studio. We'll break out the roof frame plan and the building section of this area, and we'll talk a little bit more about single slope garage roofs. Let's see you back at the studio. All right. So. I know. Today, we're not even talking about the house. We're talking about the garage. Got that mono slope there. Big old beam running down the middle. We uh, chose to do some conventional rafters there. Um, volume ceiling. So, uh, broke out a section out of the drawing. So, let's grab Big Red. Let's dive in and let's talk. Garage roof framing. All right. So, there's our detail. You can see we got foundation wall over here. We got foundation wall over here. And we got our garage slab in between the two. Um, I won't say connecting them, but sitting in between them. Um, and, you know, one of the, the things about this garage is we're probably, uh, I believe, on the order of about 28 feet in overall width. You can see. Garage doors here. Those are in the foreground happening there. So you can see there's some decent height here, even a little bit of height there. I believe we uh, set this wall yeah, off the slab. We're right at around eight feet, 7 11 and short change, but basically eight feet for all intents and purposes. And that 2 by 12 goes up. And we have our quad LVL there. And I believe that runs, I think it's 26 foot deep on the garage. So, and I believe that one is, uh, it's either 20 or 24. I think it's 24 inches. Um, and I forgot to look. But anyways, big old LVL beam, right? And it's a four spot. A quad. Now, 
you know, we, we could have done this in trusses, and if we did trusses, we would have came across here. We would have lost all of this space. The homeowner really wanted to capture some of this extra space. You know, you could store a canoe or something up here or potentially hang some bikes, you know, from the uh, uh, wall above the cars. I mean, people love to have space. I can't tell you. People, storage, 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 storage. Um, I tell most of my clients, you need less stuff, not more storage. But anyways, we were trying to capitalize on getting that height. And you can see here, we are at roughly around 12 foot, four inches. So we gain about four and a third feet um, climbing from here to there and getting that. So four feet is definitely space enough to... Uh, store stuff so how do we do it so we have that big beam it goes in and out of the drawing um front to back of the garage we have our two bays that run parallel with that lvl beam um, what i chose to do was bring our 2x12s up so that the one that comes off of the bottom remember when we were out on the site it runs long and then the one that goes up to the top plate, well, it runs long in the other direction. And you can see here, I have it called out as a one foot minimum dimension on both sides, which centered on the beam, that gives me a two foot dimension to then nail and spike those together to maintain some level of continuity. Um, across that beam so and then it would continue up to the top plate here and we have our eave there but it's a very simple i mean at 28 feet you know these are on the order of about 14 feet in in span and remember when you're talking about span of rafters it's not at the angle of the rafter it is the horizontal projection because when you put it in an angle the load actually ends up having an X, an X and a Y coordinate, very much like the slope of a roof. So anyways, you can see that's how we framed it. Really simple garage, but um, some simple framing, certainly nothing revolutionary here, but this was the solution to a few of the design suggestions that the homeowner had is in terms of getting storage, the single sloped mono roof to match the rest of the roofs of the house. And uh, this was the uh, solution that we not only proposed, but this is the solution that got built. So anyways, there you have it. Garage roof framing. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Well, there you have it. Good job, Big Red. And garage roof framing at a glance. Yeah, we put up those 2x12s, kept it simple, big old beam, got a nice big two-car plus garage, some added storage, all free space, column free. So, anyways, if you're looking for more, it's Steve Basic Architect on Instagram. You can also find me on the Unbuilded Podcast. Jake Bruton, Peter Yost, and myself, we talk everything building. Lastly, right here, Build Show Network. I literally have hundreds of videos up there. Go check out my catalog. And uh, check out all of my colleagues, too. That makes up for thousands of videos. Definitely enough to keep you busy. But uh, very dear, near and dear to my heart is Build Show Build Boston. It's a project that uh, we designed and are having built. And we're allowing you to follow along right from day one, right until we hand over the keys and tell Scott and Jonathan to enjoy. So anyways, go check it out under the Originals tab. Build Show Build Boston. All right. Until next time, long live our buildings.